I think I would like to make uh, three points in response. The, uh, three points are, first, uh, what exactly did Mr. Singh Hantong say? Uh, second, was uh, TOC accurate in setting out what he said? And third, is he, uh, Mr. Singh, a racist? And if I can take those three points. Uh, what did he say? There has been a lot of response uh, to what people believe that Mr. Singh has said. Uh, their reactions are entirely understandable. Uh, if people uh, believe, which they do, that uh, he has said what has been attributed to him. But unfortunately what has happened is that uh, a significant part of what has been attributed to Mr. Singh is uh, false, uh, to be quite blunt about it. Uh, Han Tong, and I've spoken with Han Tong, uh, heard over the radio uh, what an officer from MRT said, uh, essentially suggesting that the poor language skills of our Chinese, Indian, Malay drivers uh, who worked with SMRT was part of the problem uh, in the inadequacy of the response by SMRT. Singh Han Tong strongly disagreed with this comment. So when he went on TV, he referred to this comment and in essence made the point that the language skills of workers should not be blamed for the inadequacy of the Response And his point is that, you know, broken English uh, can be effective uh, in, communica in communicating uh, what needs to be communicated. The real problem, according to him, was that uh, the workers, uh, drivers specifically, had not been given adequate training to deal with these sorts of emergencies. So the problem lay with the management and not the workers. So that's what he said. I think the meaning is clear enough. I think the key point is that he referred to someone else, in this case the MRT officer's statement, in order to rebut it and say that he, Singh Han Tong, disagreed with it. Now, if you put that across, I don't think many people will have reacted in the way they did. The mistake he made, and he did make... Uh, mistake was that he misquoted the MRT officer and said that the officer had referred to Indian and Malay drivers uh, having poor English language skills when in fact the officer had referred to drivers of all three races. And uh, I think, you know, personally, Hunting could, uh, sorry, Hantong could also have uh, gone further and explicitly disagreed with a view which he thought the officer had expressed that the Indian and Malay drivers had poorer language skills. He could have gone further and rebutted that if he believed that's what was said, which he did. But, you know, he didn't rebut that. He simply rebutted the other point that you shouldn't be blaming the drivers. And Han Tong has since apologized for that. Uh, the TOC took this, and all of it is on tape. You know, people can view this and headlined its article, MP Singh Han Tong, colon, SMRT's unpreparedness also due to Malay and Indian staff's English language uh, inefficiency. Uh, I think if you look at the facts, that's quite false. Uh, it attributes to Han Tong the very opposite of what uh, he had said. The article does not say that he was quoting an MRT officer. They could have pointed out that it was an inaccurate quote, but they didn't even say he was quoting an MRT officer. And neither does it say that he disagreed with that view. 
Instead, in both the headlines and in the text, it reaffirms the view that these were his words. Uh, thirdly, if we deal with the point as to whether Han Thong was a racist, I have known him for many years. My colleagues have known him for many years. He is not a racist. He works hard on the ground. He helps everyone. Uh, it's quite unfair to label him a racist. Um, if he had made the comments that have been attributed to him, then I think he should be criticized, and rightly so, and I would have been among the first to have criticized him. That would have been completely unacceptable. But we have to be fair. We have to look at the facts. So I hope that we can uh, deal with this matter on the basis of facts and not on the basis of false statements which are wrongly attributed to someone. Thank you.